What is it today guys, Mad Matt in this video. Today I'll be covering the camos, which is the last part of the DLC. Yesterday I did cover the Soap DLC, the Extinction Pack, and the Voice Packs. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Now hop into the camos. The first camo we have is the Blunt Force camo. This is the camo that most people were excited for. As you can see on screen, we do get the camo, which is on the weapon. We get the reticle, which is a marijuana leaf. This reticle is actually pretty good. I have used it in a few games and it's been very effective. The top point of the leaf is where you aim and it works very well as a reticle. We also get a player background, a patch, and a player card with the camo, but this isn't the only camo from the DLC. There is lots more and they'll all be included in this video. Next up we have the hex camo. This is the most basic camo out of all the camos, but it does work well as an actual camo by itself because most of the other camos are meant for looks, not actually blending your weapon in. Their reticle is pretty much the same size as a red dot, only difference is that instead of a red dot, it's a hexagon. The camo does also come with its own background, play card, and patch. The patch itself actually is pretty cool. It's actually a helicopter, which I do like a lot. Next up, we have the eyeballs camo. It's actually a really cool camo. It's a bit cartoon-like with crazy eyes all over the weapon. It does come with a background, play card, and patch. The patch is of a zombie with its eyes popping out of its head, which is pretty cool. The reticle isn't the best, it's a bit hard to aim down sights with it because of the two circles. You don't know exactly where to aim and where the bullet spread is. But apart from that, the camo is very cool and that's the main point of the camos, is the actual camo itself. Let me know in the comments down below which camo pack is your favourite. I know what most people are going to say but you could be surprised by some of the other camos. Moving on, we do have the 1987 camo. It's a very bright and colourful camo with various shapes all over the weapon. This is a very cool camo and probably one of my favourite. Again, coming with the background, player card, and patch. The player patch is actually a pair of shorts with the camo all over it. The reticle is a big triangle, and you can aim at the top of the triangle, so it's a fairly effective reticle. Next up, we do have the Heartlands camo. This looks like to me a camo with a maple leaf design and a more autumn style of colors. The patch is of a bow, and it does come with a background and player card. The reticle is an arrow pointing where the bullet spray will be going, so that is very nice and effective. Last of all, we do get the molten camo. When I first saw this camo, I thought it was going to be an animated camo, such as the one in Black Ops 2 with lava flowing through it. But it seems that they haven't animated it, which is a shame. But apart from that, it does come with a corresponding background, player card, and patch. The patch is of an erupting volcano, which is cool. The reticle is very nice and simple, just a plain X, which makes it easy to use. That does finish off the video for us today, guys. Let me know what you guys think of all the camos in the comments down below. As I said at the start of the video, yesterday I covered the Soap DLC, the Extinction Pack, and the Voice Packs. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. And I also have my video explaining my predictions and thoughts for Call of Duty 2014. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Be sure to check out my Twitter and Google+. Plus. Links for them will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching today, guys. Has been Mad Matt, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.